It's my honor to welcome you all out here today for the first ever Ryan Company's virtual groundbreaking ceremony. We could not be more excited to have groundbreaking day uh, here on the Ford plant. And we have anticipated this day uh, for over a decade here in St. Paul. Uh, we're looking forward to this becoming what we've all imagined for it to be. And that all starts today. We in St. Paul get a chance to enjoy our river, our iconic uh, bluffs uh, in a space that was once known as Inijaska uh, by the Dakota who originally settled this land. We always like to acknowledge that we're on Dakota land and make sure that we are acknowledging those who have come before us. So I want to share this proclamation. Whereas today, as we officially break ground on the former Ford Motor plant site with Ryan Companies to realize the vision for a new 21st century community, we acknowledge that we are on the homelands of the Dakota peoples who have lived in this region for thousands of years and that their sovereign nations predate the United States. And whereas we seek to build a brighter future of healing and reconciliation with the redevelopment of this land. Now therefore I, Melvin Carter, Mayor of the City of St. Paul, this Tuesday, July 14th, 2020, do hereby acknowledge this land of the Midwakanton, Dakota, and dedicate this redevelopment in honor of all Dakota peoples on this land before us and their descendants. St. Paul Mayor Melvin Carter. My ancestors have been here since time immemorial. Our creation story has us coming from Bodote, which is the confluence of the Mississippi and Minnesota rivers. And this area has been so important to our, our people. It's important to recognize the significance of this land to those who were here before. Dakota people have a connection to this land. We're still here. We haven't gone anywhere. We're still here. And we want to share the rich history and the rich culture and, and knowledge that we have of this area. Now more than ever, we are seeing how communities can connect to strengthen each other and unite to build a truly inclusive and diverse future. At Ryan Companies, our goals align directly with that sentiment, to always support and enhance the communities that already exist and create new opportunities for communities to reconnect and thrive. Beginning in 1925, St. Paul's Highland Park neighborhood welcomed the Ford Motor Company assembly plant a production facility for vehicles and military equipment that was active for decades. In 2011, that assembly plant manufactured its very last vehicle. And in the years since, Ford Motor Company has demolished the plant and invested in environmental remediation to prepare the site for its future use. Since then, the 122-acre site has sat vacant, with many in the community wondering what would come next. Ford Motor Company held this site for a long time, but their usefulness of the site had, had clearly passed this moment in time. They had shut down the plant, and they were really looking at how do we contribute this project back to the city in a graceful way. They took the lead on cleaning up the site. I believe they cleaned it to a level that they had not cleaned a site to in the U.S. before. So they really brought it up to a residential standard. We stand on the site understanding fully that this may be the best site in the country to build a 21st century community that will serve the city of St. Paul and this region for generations to come. And it's an opportunity for the best pieces of property in the Twin Cities to come to life. It's going to create a space where there's a lot of green space. There's going to be water features that connect it with the Mississippi River. It's going to have a significant amount of park and trees. And it's going to create an opportunity for newer families to come and enjoy part of the Highland neighborhood. Today, Ryan Companies is excited to announce that we are digging in. We are digging into a place where past, present, and possibility converge, where nature is woven into everyday life. Here, community spirit will run deep, transcending generations and embracing diversity, connecting people to places, offering new opportunities and experiences for all. This is a community forever linked to the very heart of what makes St. Paul special.
This is Highland Bridge. Highland Bridge will be a community that creates and fosters opportunity for everyone, a community that connects generations and addresses the gaps that have existed within our cities for far too long. Highland Bridge will be a vibrant community with strong roots built from an honored past and a sustainable future filled with new possibilities. It's just exciting to think of all the new families, all the new people that will have the opportunity to live in Highland Park. We're gonna have economic diversity, we're gonna have office space diversity, we're gonna have housing diversity. Right here at Highland Bridge, we can bring all that together. Because it's gonna be a place people wanna eat out at. It's gonna be a place people wanna live at. And a place that people, regardless of your income, will have an opportunity to live at. And that's the really exciting part about the future of this neighborhood and the future of the site. And quite frankly, it's gonna help complete the city of St. Paul and make it a place that everybody wants to live and can live. The Ryan Company is about building communities and building places for people to thrive. And this is going to be a place where families will thrive, new businesses that will thrive. And we're grateful and honored to be able to be part of that, but we also don't take lightly the great responsibility that the community has entrusted in Ryan to be able to transform this amazing site in the heart of the Twin Cities into something that is going to be incredibly special. The development will feature 55 acres of parks and open space, retail and office, and housing of all types, affordable housing, senior living, apartments, row homes, single family homes, and condos. One of our unique, unique sustainable features is our program with Excel Energy. Excel is helping us provide a one megawatt solar array, which is the largest in the Twin Cities. That allows us, along with the hydroelectric power from the dam, to provide the electricity of the site 100% from renewable energy sources. In the process of reaching this point, we have already seen the values and strength of this community through the input of St. Paul residents and stakeholders, city staff and elected officials, the Ford Motor Company, and many other project partners who have contributed along the way. Widener Apartment Homes is one of the founding primary partners at Highland Bridge, providing several apartment communities throughout the development. Project for Pride in Living in cooperation with Common Bond, will deliver a number of affordable housing developments serving a wide range of household incomes. Common Bond Communities, in cooperation with PPL, will deliver several affordable housing developments in Highland Bridge, serving neighbors at all income levels. Pulte Homes will provide 15 blocks of row homes in Highland Bridge. The row homes provide a unique, modern housing option and neighborhood charm to the community. Habitat for Humanity, one of three affordable housing development partners, will work with Ryan and Pulte to build six row homes for affordable home ownership. Presbyterian Homes and Services is the Twin Cities' leading provider of senior living communities. The Highland Bridge location will offer independent living, assisted living, and memory care apartment options. Excel Energy will deliver 100% of its electricity from locally sourced, cost-competitive, renewable, and carbon-free sources, including the adjacent hydroelectric plant and one of the state's largest urban solar arrays. Highland Bridge is an important part of the future that we're building for St. Paul. The big vision that we've had here, and that was our goal, to meet this enormous opportunity uh, with an enormous vision. The number of jobs that we'll create here, the active spaces, the, the amount of affordable housing, a big vision like that does not happen all by itself. We were fortunate uh, to come behind an administration in the Coleman administration that carried the ball in this uh, for a, a good decade uh, and brought us to a really strong point. We were fortunate to have a great partner in our city council and HRA uh, who saw the big vision, who saw the opportunity and were determined uh, to take full advantage of it. We are grateful to have partners. We continue to be grateful to have partners at the state capitol from our state legislature uh, to the governor. Uh, and we've been really blessed and fortunate to have a whole community of individuals, of people who would plug in and get involved and make sure we got the vision right. This is a perfect example of all the amazing things that a whole community can accomplish when we work together. I'm very proud to be a part of it. You know, today is, a, is an amazing day, it, just one step in a long journey, and uh, we couldn't be more proud to be part of this amazing project. Breaking ground at Highland Bridge, you know, this is a once in a generation opportunity. It just doesn't come along often where you can work on an, an urban infill site like this. 
and really an impact the community. The Ford legacy shaped and formed this entire neighborhood and the region. Uh, after the 10-year planning process uh, and putting together a new master plan and the partnership that we've created with the City of St. Paul, Highland Bridge will allow us to create the next 100 years of legacy. And we're really excited to be part of that legacy on the site. This revitalized district will be a community that belongs to everyone and will enrich the fabric of the Twin Cities. Welcome to Highland Bridge.